So welcome to Stuck, Time to Improv. I'm Mary Scott with Business Riff, and my guest today is Stacy Ruth from Inside Out Marketing. So we're going to talk about real good marketing advice and tips for startup businesses. Welcome, Stacy. Oh, it's so great to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. So what kind of marketing advice do you have for startups? Well, I, you know... I, I have had marketing agencies for 30 years, and I will tell you, marketing in 1997 is not the same marketing as it is today. And I wish I had had the kind of access and uh, freedom to start a business that's available now, but it brings its own set of complexities to a lot of business owners. And I'll tell you the number one thing I hear from business owners who are either doing a side hustle right now and moving into full time or who just went all in and have launched Mm -hmm. is they say, oh my gosh, I hate marketing or marketing scares me. And um, I understand that and I I think one of the biggest challenges for marketers who are now the business owners, right? Business owners slash marketers wearing all these hats um, is there's not a full understanding of what marketing really is. And even marketers don't agree what marketing actually is. So I like to start by telling my definition, which is marketing is the totality of the business. It is every conversation. It is every social media post. It is your email signature. It is your website, your logo, of course, but it's so much more. Sure. It's your brand, it's sales, it's advertising, and it's also just raising awareness. And it's your internal process. It's the experience that the client has working with you that's part of your marketing too, because, you know, they say a brand is a promise. And once someone starts working with you or buying your product, you have to fulfill that promise or it's really not your brand. Okay. So when we're putting this together or brand new company and you're just putting stuff together, what do they do first? (laughs) Uh, You know, one of the first things that they do now, this is not necessarily my recommendation, but one of the first things that they do, and this is one of the first calls I get from a new client is help me get my website together and I need to get a logo. That's not actually where we should start, right? But that, but we move right into tactics because culturally we have an action bias. Uh, if I look, if I see this, then it's real right? If I'm doing this, then it's real. And the first thing that I suggest that business owners do is to really get clear first about who they serve, which may or may not be the same as themselves. Right. Right. And you find out who you serve by actually, and this makes people very squirmy, having conversations with the people you think you serve and seeing if you actually serve them. So start with friends and family, start with people who already know you and Uh, ask them. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) absolutely. Ask them and maybe reach out to people that you may not know, but you think they might be someone you could serve with your business and say, I know this sounds really odd because you probably don't get this request a lot, but I'm building a business. I think you might be the type of person I could serve. This is not a sales call. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk to you and see if I'm right. I want to ask you some questions, maybe 15 minutes and really find out what they deal with. What do they struggle with? What's their pain point? So also, you know, people focus on the demographics, like how old are they? Are they married? Do they, you know? And that's great, but also what are their psychographics? How do they feel? What keeps them up at night? What do they want to be when they grow up? You know, all of these things are important for really speaking to them from the heart and connecting with them. Right. So if you've got this great idea you think is going to change the world, you need to validate it. You need to tell people, you know what? 
I think I have this great idea and I would like to know what you think about it. Absolutely. <laughs> but you're still not ready for a website and a logo. Oh no, just not yet, yet not right? yet. And I have two um, things that I have my clients go through that are free uh, that I have developed and designed so that they know what their brand personality is, which is very important because that drives what the right fonts and colors for their logos and all of their marketing materials, these tactics, um, you know, what it's like, um, you know, your profile on a dating site, right? Sure. So, so you want people to see you. Yes, definitely. You're the owner, you're the founder, you're the startup person. Uh, but you also want them to, to see uh, themselves uh, connecting with you, right? So on a dating site, you know, if you're going to be all romantic and fluff and somebody's more interested in just having fun, those are two different profiles. Right. So the other thing that I have them do is an assessment about a brand affinity. And so that's the experience of connecting with your brand. And there's seven different factors, brand affinity factors. Mm -hmm. And that's like the relationship. So now you're out on the date with the person who liked your profile. Mm -hmm. And so it's, what does this relationship look like? And, and how do I feel as a result of connecting with your brand? And mm -hmm. when you understand that, you understand, do I share testimonials and case studies? Do I, you know, uh, show off the the pampering and the luxury of engaging with my brand? Do people want to be something more? Do they aspire to something uh, as a result of using the brand? So there's a lot of different ways sure, to do sure. that. You know, or if it's a product, you know, who uses it in what exactly. context exactly. And, and how easy or difficult is it to use? Do you need to be a professional? Right. So you need right. to find out exactly what your idea is and where it fits That's right. to, in order to develop a strategy and the tactics all come later, right? Yeah. And a lot of what new business owners see online, and I hate to say it, but especially on Facebook, what they see are these like little um, uh, structure for, for how to market yourself as a coach, how to market yourself as a, you know, a marketing firm, how to market yourself as whatever, right? And it, there is some truth in that, mm -hmm. but there's also a lot more flexibility right. and, and it may or may not reflect who you are. So doing these things first really helps clarify both what you look like and what you sound like. What's the voice that you're bringing to this party so that you don't sound like every other person who did module A by, you know, Jane Doe, right? So, right. so you are you, which is what customers really want. They want authenticity. Yes, yes. And there's enough um, differences out there that you may have competition, but then maybe you don't because right. it's about who's going to relate to you and your product or service. And um, mm. so you may have colleagues in the same right. field Oh, and yeah. the people who relate to them are going to be different from the people who relate to you. So it's about making sure that what makes you different stands out yeah. and that you're true to yourself and you're true to your style. You said a mouthful there, my friend. <laughs> my, my website is insideoutsmart.com. Okay. And there are, um, along the blog page, there are links to these. Um, there's also... Um, a link in my resources page. Um, the brand affinity is insideoutsmart.com slash brand dash affinity. Yeah, but I think people will get a real kick out of uh, seeing it sends the results to you and it tells you what to do with each one. Right. It's almost a personality assessment for your brand and your company. Absolutely. It Which is. helps you get clarity, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and the affinity is almost like a strength finder, right? So yeah, very much so. Yeah. So thank you so much. This has been fascinating and I'd love to hear more. So thank you very much for coming to oh, um, Duck Time to Improv and I will see you again next week.